here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday. It's the 16th of May, 2022. It's the birthday of Louis Turkle, Studs Turkle, the radio man and writer, born in New York City, 1912. Family moved to Chicago when he was eight years old. Went to college and law school, graduated, but failed to pass the bar. He got work writing radio scripts with the Federal Writers Project and also performing in radio soap operas that originated in Chicago. In the very early days of television, he had his own show, Studs' Place, which was dropped by NBC at the height of the McCarthy era, The NBC executives were uncomfortable with various political petitions that Turkle had signed. So he got out of television and into radio. He started a show on WFMT in 1952. It went on for 45 years. He was in his mid-50s, Studs Turkle, when he had an actor named Eleanor Braun on his show. And she mentioned him to her friend Andre Schifrin, who was a publisher. And Schifrin approached Turkle, asked if he'd consider producing a book of interviews with ordinary people. And the book was called Division Street America. It was a big success in 1967, followed by many more hard times and oral history of the Great Depression. And Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Reflections on Death, Rebirth, and Hunger for a Faith. Studs Terkel, who said about interviewing... It isn't an inquisition, it's an exploration, usually an exploration into the past. So I think the gentlest question is the best one, and the gentlest is, and what happened then? It's the birthday of one of the first well-known female mathematicians born in Milan in 1718, Maria Gatana Agnesi. Her father, Pietro, a businessman, her mother, an aristocrat. The child was a brilliant little girl. By the age of 10, she spoke five languages. At the age of nine, she addressed a group of academics in Latin on the subject of women's rights and access to education. She wanted to enter a convent, but when her mother died, she had to take charge of the household and care for her many siblings. But she maintained her interest in math and philosophy. And in 1733, she published a collection of essays based on the talks that she had given to her father's circle of friends. And that same year, she began working on a math textbook, which grew into a larger work and in which she wrote an equation for a specific bell-shaped curve that is still used today. The book Analytical Institutions, published 1748, highly regarded in academic circles for synthesizing complex mathematical ideas. Here's a poem for today by Rosal Hunt, A Peaceful Day. A peaceful day on a shaded porch as a couple dozen Holstein cows swaying their great udders march to the barn behind this house. We rock in the chairs, drinking tea, thinking of the ones who died, working this farm before you and me, singing, fast falls the even tide, thinking of all they must do before the end and the deep abyss. They took great comfort from this view on just such a peaceful day as this, which says, our time is short, no time to waste, Let us improve today before we are replaced. A Peaceful Day, a poem by Rosal Hunt, used by permission of the poet, here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.